selection today has become my autobiography called Crazy. I think I'm crazy, zany, slightly insane, a chronic neurotic in my own domain. Cuckoo, bananas, cuckoo. I laugh and cry so much I'm nuts inside. I need a vacation and way better medication. So I see things others don't. I let you in on a little secret. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean they don't exist. And I see a whole lot of things a whole lot different. Just the type of guy I am. I like to cook and sew and use a chainsaw. I wear clogs, use hand lotion, and carry a man bag. I work out with iron abs, a 48 children, a mean left hook. I don't take flack from anyone because I don't have to. Just the type of guy I am. So shut up, get out of my face, don't mess with me. Whoa, Richard. Maybe you've had one too many. I don't drink. Maybe you should. Shut up, subconscious. Can't you see I'm busy? My plate's full, my, my plate's full, chip broken, my set don't match. Too many containers and still no lids. What, what I need is. Quiet, real quiet. Maybe my wife was right. I need professional help. To consider it would be crazy. To not consider it would be more crazy. Yeah, Doc, I know, I know, but stop writing and just listen. If the Hubble telescope could see life forms thousands of light years away, and we here on Earth are still making babies, then it reasons to reason that I am bi-terrestrial. Not bisexual, bi-terrestrial. Yeah, I know, Doc. My 45 minutes are up. But one last thing. To imagine, to create something from nothing, to see it so clearly when no one even knows there's something to see. Loco? I hope so. Because crazy might be the only thing that keeps this guy sane. Thank you. Um, I don't have a pointer, but the woman with the cigarette in her hand is my grandmother, Misha. And the gentleman she's leaning on is Earl Flynn. Um, and um, so when I saw this, um, uh, I wrote the following poem when I got home. Gilded Photograph. Memories of the past, years and years ago, hours and hours spent with people I used to know. Often lost sight of those moments in the dark, midnight rendezvous with strangers in the park. Photographs of mementos faded with their past, their brilliance shaded with gilded impressions that last. Memories of the past, years and years ago, hours and hours spent with people I used to know. Where did they go? Thank you. Last night you died. You phoned always at the end of your workday. Quote, I'm leaving now, Lieb. Anything you'd like me to bring? No, nothing, Lieb. The usual exchange. By the way, I didn't remember ever hearing that exchange, so it was very special to me. I put the roast in the oven. In time, it is done, and well done. You have been discovered, I'm sorry, unconsciously at your desk. By the time I have told those who should be told, you are no longer ill. Sign your name on the wind, then I'll let you know which way to follow you. How silent my body feels, hush of my shoulders upholding the weightlessness of loss. A giant moon 
I need more light to free the stone from its shadow. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I'm just picking the one because I did compose. I'm doing what um, Polly's mom put together her marvelous words, finally, with all the help. And people have helped me put together slowly, and I keep correcting them after I get them into a little book. But here's one that I chose this morning um, from it, uh, and I call my latest uh, called Weaving Threads. And most of it has to do with Lake Kachichuit, but this is just titled Real Poets. And I've probably read it here before in various, because uh, I keep changing them, like your mom. Real poets have a way of thinking, one that's juicy and severe. Now, what if I remove all words, tidy and sentimental? Real poets won't ask their muse for help to revise or edit only to wait and watch, offer protection from jagged precipices. Real poets know how to remain present in sight of terrible tears, beginning once gone forever, wounds, hearts filling with excess weight. Real poets know where to find new battles even those they may never survive. My muse subverts with a tenderness that takes time. My real poets. Thank you, real poets. This is Sorry Man Blues. Oh, excuse me. Could you do me a big favor? Could you hand me that sheet of paper on the chair there? I forgot it. It'll make for a better performance. <laughs> okay. All, all set? I'm ready for my close up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, this is Sorry Man Blues. to love me Just want someone who's kind Who put no one above me Until she change her mind Then she'll bring me bread and water Till I run out of time Then she'll say he was a good man was mine I got the sorry man blue I'm sorry all the time I got the sorry man blue I'm sorry every day though all my sorry is in the air want a woman who's pretty, just want someone who's smart, someone who'll see right through me, keep me honest from the start, I'll stay put and eat her cooking, love her children like my own, and she'll say he was a good man.
least while he was home. I got the sorry man blues. I can't apologize. I got the sorry man blues. I can't apologize. Though all my sorry is in the ocean. Watch the water rise. Got the sorry man blues. I'm sorry every day. I got the sorry man blues. I'm sorry every day. Though all my sorry is in the air, dear. They all fly away. I got the sorry man blues. I can't apologize. I got the sorry man blues. I can't apologize. Though all my sorry is in the ocean. Watch the water rise. All my sorry is in the ocean Watch the water rise Thank you, thank you all. There's a phenomenon that people call sundowning if you um, work at a nursing home or other facilities like care facilities. Um, it has to do with in, in residents or patients tend to get very sad and moody and pensive in the evening, uh, in the early evening. It's probably a variant of what's clinically called um, seasonal affective disorder or SAD for short, very clever acronym and that's I think what inspired this song I usually don't I try to find things to write about and I only let myself creep in if um, if he chooses to It's all I ever think about When all the love was there Familiar faces smile at me I'm welcome everywhere I think of what I never do my gaze rests on the floor From out the gloom a shadow creeps I'd never seen before The twilight through my window pane Calls me to join the flow I issue from my quiet room We go down very slow When I was looking at the wall 
while The clock that wasn't there Look back at me It said I'm gone The light ebbs from the Around this time, my daughter, um, who was 16 weeks pregnant, um, had an ovary removed with my baby grandson in there. And uh, five days before her 30th birthday in November, she was, um, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And thankfully, um, this little baby saved her life. So um, she's got a good prognosis now, and everything is good. Today is little Gus's second month um, on Earth, and so I'm uh, reading for him today. It's called No Small Thing, and it's for Gus. Your appa put it best when he said, You came the way we fall asleep, slowly, then all at once. We fell in love with you the same way. This is his first poem to you. There will be others. Not all poems require words, you see. Some will be given in the way that all babies are loved. A soft kiss on your downy head. Stories and prayers before you go to bed. Your favorite toy to cuddle as you rest. The gentle way your mama gets you dressed. A cheerful word when you are feeling sad. A silly face to make you feel glad. But there are other sorts of poems that come with time, and some, not all, will come to you in rhyme, in rhyme like the rhythm of your rocking chair, or a lullaby whisper sung into your wispy hair, like the way your brother sings your brand new name and gives you kisses that affirm his claim. Poems are the essence of our love distilled to keep inside your heart until it's filled with every gift within our power to give and guide your days as long as you shall live. And so I write this poem in words for you to tell you that my love for you is true. May every poem you're given bring you joy, just as you bring to us, sweet little boy. Hello, Hopkinton. Tonight it gives me great pleasure to entertain you on the keyboard. Whoops. No keyboard. Plan B. This is one of my favorite balloon-popping songs, but as you can plainly see, without the balloons. This is a song that was written by James Van Heusen with lyrics by Sammy Kahn. It was introduced by Frank Sinatra in 1959 in the movie Hole in the Head and was the theme song in John F. Kennedy's presidential election in 1960. It's called High Hopes. Next time you're found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. Just look around. Just what makes that little old ant think he'll move that rubber tree plant? Anyone knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant. Everybody, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the sky. Hope. So anytime you're feeling low, instead of letting go, just remember that it 
Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree. Whoops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> when trouble calls and your back's to the wall, there's a lot to be learned. That wall could fall. Once there was a silly old ram. Thought he'd punch a hole in a dam. No one could make that ram scram. He kept button that dam cause he had high hopes. He had high hopes. He had high apple pie in the sky. Hope so anytime you're feeling bad, instead of looking sad, just remember that ram. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Whoops, there goes a billion kilowatt. Damn, ba bum ba bum bum Cause he had high hopes. He had high hopes. He had high apple pie in the sky. Hopes your problem's just a toy balloon. They'll be bursting soon. They're just bound to go pop. Whoops, there goes another problem. Whoops, there goes another problem. Whoops, there goes another problem. Kerplop, kerplop. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was playing with a bottle of um, soap bubbles, so things with a little wand inside of them. And the label on the back said it was made by the Chemtory Corporation. And, I'm, and I thought, chemical toys, there's an interesting thought. So I whipped off three verses very quickly, and then nothing for 30 plus years. <laughs> Sat there, couldn't think of any other verses, couldn't think of a melody for it, and I pretty much gave up on until about two weeks ago. I was playing with some chords, and a little melody came out. I started to sing along with the melody, and these words popped into my head. And finally it fit. So new verse, you know, verses started coming out. I started singing in the car, and that's how we got to this. So this is called Chem Toy. Um, I'll mention this for 30 years. It's been sitting in a folder of mine called Protest Songs. So take the lyrics with that in mind. And appropriately, since it's a toy song, I'm playing it on a toy guitar. <laughs> Literally bought this at Toys R Us. So this is Chem Toy. got a chemical toy It's just the thing for a modern boy I've got a chemical toy How about you? I've got a plastic friend Be there with me to the bitter end I've got a plastic friend How about you? I still remember how we all used to play From early morning through the end of the day Now we're playing in a whole new way, don't you see? Fun with technology I've got a virtual pet He's always loyal, hasn't left me yet I've got a virtual pet, how about you? I've got a social net A thousand friends who I've never met I've got a social net, how about you? I still remember all those ads on TV Without chemicals, life wouldn't be I guess that's true and I guess I can see How we can have fun with technology smart device Just say her name and she treats me nice I've got a smart device How about you? I've got an inflatable love She's virgin vinyl and she fits like a glove I've got an inflatable love How about you? I've got a chemical 
toy. I've got a chemical toy. I've got a chemical toy. How about you? Woo! Thank you. Um, so I have a poem that I wrote, I don't know, I, I'm still writing it, it's still in progress. I read it a couple of years ago here, and it's a lot different now. It's a kind of a tribute to one of my favorite poets, and it's called uh, Free Verse. In my dream last night, all the words still in print had ripped themselves out of the pages, demanding their freedom. Remembering that I have a lot of books, I rushed down the stairs as fast as I could. Imagine my relief when the only thing I miss was a poem by Billy Collins playing cards in the kitchen. Each line of verse was in its own chair except the ones that rhymed and they were sitting together. A tall one, resting on a semicolon cushion, played a high heart from his hand full of metaphors, and the others tossed in their weakest words as if conceding the trick. Interrupting as politely as I could, I welcomed them to the world of three dimensions, asked them not to smoke, and offered them a room inside my Kindle. But away they went all at once back into the safety of their book. <laughs> mm -hmm.